Hello and welcome. My name's Harry Waters and you're watching Renewable English. Today's lesson is called What a Waste and it's all about food waste. We're going to be bringing you some unfun facts, some top tips, some fridge hacks, and then we've got an interview with a leftover expert. So there's plenty in today's lesson. As always, if you see this sign, you know what to do. Press pause, give yourself some time to think. Now it's time to look at today's objectives to see what we hope to achieve by the end of the class. The first one, to identify three food waste hotspots. Then we've got some fridge hacks on how to reduce waste from our fridges. We've got ideas for leftovers from Suzanne, our expert from Baton Rouge in Louisiana. Then we've got top tips to reduce food waste. From who else? But Ali, of course. Finally, we make our planet promise. Well then, let's get started. As always, we're going to have a quick look at the vocabulary that could come in handy in today's class. So have a look at the image and connect it with a word. What do you think they could be? Remember, hit pause if you have to. Right then, let's see what we've got. The first image is stock, a vegetable stock, or perhaps a meat stock using the leftovers that you've cut off of veg, and of course, the carcasses of animals, if that's what you eat. Next up are leftovers. They're the things that are left on your plate when you've finished eating. Next is the refrigerator or the fridge. You say it however you like. It's the place that keeps your food nice and cool. Next is compost. And that's a way of creating organic fertilizer, which is much safer and all those chemicals they put in the ground. Zero waste. Now this isn't just about food. This is about everything. This is about plastics in your house and all sorts of different things. But today we're going to be looking at zero waste for food. So try and waste as little as possible. And if possible, waste absolutely nothing. And the last word there, is expiry date. Not something I'm a big fan of, but we'll hear more about that later. If you need to check over this vocabulary again, why not check out the other video called Vocab Shorts? It's available on the channel. Next, it's time to hand over to that beautiful assistant of mine with some unfun facts. Here he is. More than 50% of the food the supermarkets throw away is still edible. One third of all the food we produce is wasted. That's 1.6 billion tonnes of food, which is enough to feed about 3 billion people a year. 8% of carbon emissions come from food waste. So if food waste were a country, it would be third on the list of carbon emitting countries behind the USA and China. If you waste one burger, that's the same as wasting a 90 minute shower's worth of water. That's a lot of water. And finally, reducing food waste 
is the third most effective way of reducing your impact on the planet. Now, I hope you are listening closely because now it's time for true or false. Statement one, less than 50% of food thrown away by food supermarkets is still edible. So you can still eat it. What do you think? It is false. More than 50% is still edible. So you're throwing away food that anyone could still eat. One third of the food we produce is wasted. That's 1.6 billion tons. That's a lot. That's like about 220 million elephants. It's a lot of elephants. And that is true. 5% of carbon emissions are due to food waste. What do you think? It's false. Sadly, it's actually eight. Wasting one burger wastes as much water as a 90 minute shower. True. Take shorter showers, waste fewer burgers. Reducing food waste is the third most effective way to combat climate change. And this one is absolutely true. How many did you get right? Did you get all five? Put your answers in the chat box below. Now we've had some unfun facts. Let's get back to the lesson. I said we were going to look at three hot spots for food waste. And we'll do that in just a moment. Some of you may have noticed I've got nail varnish on today. I got a manicure from, from my seven-year-old daughter, Ali, on Sunday. So I didn't keep them very well. Anyway, let's continue. What are three food waste hotspots? The first one that I've identified is when you buy food from the supermarket. So all of the waste we mentioned in the unfun facts that supermarkets produce. Next, we've got keeping your food in your fridge, your refrigerator, in your cupboards and so on. And then there's eating your food and on your plate. So thinking about portion control um, and then also what you can do with your leftovers if you can't finish what's on your plate. I mentioned earlier, we were going to talk about expiry and sell by dates. So we are going to do that now. There's a quick reading that I'm gonna put up on the page, but before we read, let's look at the questions. Who is the sell by date for? How long can cans last beyond their expiry date? And what did they find in King Tut's tomb? So here's the reading. You might wanna press pause so you can get through this whole thing because the questions are coming right up. So if you're ready, here comes the reading. Remember, hit pause if you need a while longer. Okay then, so let's check those questions again and see if we can answer them. Who is the sell by date for? It's not for me or you. You're right, it's for the supermarket, for the store. How long can cans last beyond their expiry date? Now this one, 
is really up for question. Some people say up to four years, but plenty of things have been open well beyond that time scale, and it's still just fine to eat. And the last question, what did they find in King Tut's tomb? It seems that Mr. Tutankhamun had a bit of a sweet tooth and was very fond of honey. And even when they found it, it still tasted delicious. We're moving on now to food hacks, or more particularly, fridge hacks. Let's have a look at some of the things reduced waste now talk about. And then we'll maybe have a look at some other things that we might be able to do. Take a few moments to look at this graphic. If you need more time, press pause. It's around there somewhere. So what I'm going to do now is cover up one, two, or maybe three of the tips. And I want you to see if you can guess which one it is. So here we go. The first one. And it is the first one. Can you remember what that was? Very good. It was keep celery and carrots completely submerged in water. Fantastic. How about the next two? What do you think they were? Great. Revive leafy greens with an ice bath and keep onions away from potatoes. I didn't know that until recently. So there's three more there. And what are they? What do you think? Let's take a look now. Kale with stems in water, about to spoil food in an eat me first bin at the front of the fridge and whole cucumbers and tomatoes to be kept at room temperature. They don't spoil as quickly and also you're opening your fridge less so you're saving electricity. Let's see if we can remember these fantastic ideas. So how can we avoid food waste? Fruit and veg should be kept together or separate. Carrots and celery should be kept in water or oil. Onions should be kept next to or away from potatoes. And you should make an eat me first or an eat me last section in your fridge. What do you think? Did you get these four answers? I bet you did. There are going to be more tips at the end of the show coming from Ali. So hang in there for those. It's nearly time for our special guest on today's lesson, uh, Suzanne from Baton Rouge in Louisiana. It's a fantastic interview. She's got so many tips for saving food and well, not wasting food. Before we do that, we're going to look at some of the vocabulary that's going to come in the video. And we're also going to look over the questions before they come. So you're ready for them at the end. It's nearly time for our special guest on today's lesson, uh, Suzanne from Baton Rouge in Louisiana. It's a fantastic interview. She's got so many tips for saving food and, well, not wasting food. Before we do that, we're going to look at some of the vocabulary that's going to come in the video. And we're also going to look over the questions before they come. So you're ready for them at the end. The first word you'll see there is inventory or inventory. Second one is freezer. We've got a stir fry, and the last one there is pot pie. Let's check out their meanings. Inventory, 
is of course a list. Let's see what you have. Really good for food, really useful. You can see a stir fry, which is a mixture of different vegetables and meats thrown together maybe with noodles or, or rice. And we've got the freezer, a place to keep frozen food, but to also keep food frozen. And the last one is a pot pie, which is a crunchy pastry, which is filled with a mixture of vegetable, maybe, maybe meat as well. And then it's cooked in a pot. So here are the questions that we're going to be looking at. The first one, what is Susan's main goal? Is it to save food? Is it to save money? Or is it both? Next, what inspired her to start Makeover My Leftover? The next question is, what foods does she mention to use up leftovers? So to use up a lot of leftovers particularly. And then what's her top tip? So, so if you're ready, it's time to watch the interview. Hello and welcome to our very, very special interview with Suzanne from Makeover My Leftover. She's a food waste expert and she's here to tell us all how to save more food. So Suzanne, hello. Hello, thanks for having me. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. So I'm going to start. Can you tell me a little bit about Makeover My Leftover? Makeover My Leftover is uh, my blog, it's my business, and it's my passion. And my main goal is to help people not only save food, but save money. Because when you're saving food, you're also saving money. And I usually challenge everybody to a one-week challenge. And for one week, that is to take all your food, when you throw, go to throw it in the trash can, don't throw it in the trash can, put it in a separate bag for food only. And at the end of the week, have a visual and look at that bag and how much food and then transfer that into money and how much money you wasted. It's an eye opening experience. So what inspired you to start Makeover My Leftover? I was in the restaurant industry for 22 years. So in the restaurant industry, you see a lot of waste, um, you know, so I started with the to go boxes writing on the top actually recipes. If they had leftover French fries, I'd write a quick little recipe for potato pancakes. And I bring on the box and I found that more people started bringing the food home once they had an idea of what to do with the leftovers. And then when I retired from the restaurant industry and started my own business, within the first week, I kept hearing all these statistics about food waste. So for instance, an, an apple, you know, how many times do we have an apple and it sits there? Do you ever let it go to waste? Would you take 25 gallons of water and pour it down the drain? It'd be insane. But have you ever wasted an apple? Because that's how much water is wasted when we throw away an apple. So what's your go-to recipe? Now, I know that's a difficult question because there are so many options with leftovers. But what's your, your let's say, maybe your crowd pleaser, the one that people really love the most? But when you think leftovers, think dishes that use up a lot of proteins and vegetables. So you're thinking stir fries, curries, pot pies, pastas, things like that are really are going to stretch your leftovers. Oh, wow. Um, can you give us some top tips on reducing food waste? The big one would be take inventories. Keep an inventory of your pantry and your refrigerator and your freezer. I actually have an inventory sheet on my freezer with everything in it. So not only am I saving energy because I don't have to open up the freezer and root to see what I have, I have a list there. But also when you make your grocery shopping, you already are aware of what you have. So you're not gonna overbuy. Second is make your freezer your best friend. You can freeze literally anything and everything. That's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm sure all of our students would have got a lot from this. I know I definitely have got a lot from this. Thank you so much for being here today. And well, I'll see you on Instagram, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so much, Suzanne. I tell you what, every time I watch that interview, it feels like I learned something else. Anyway, if you want to watch the full interview, just have a look over at the YouTube channel. I posted it yesterday, it's full seven minutes with loads of tips and advice on how to reduce your food waste.
But now we're going to check out those answers. What was Susan's main goal? To save both money and food. Now, do you remember what inspired Suzanne? Let's look closer. Seeing how much food was wasted in restaurants. Now she does talk, of course, about not wasting money and she gives her amazing idea of the one week challenge. But the thing that started it all, that inspired it, was when she was working in restaurants and she saw just how much food was thrown away. So the next question. What foods does she mention to use up the leftovers? Of course, it's a curry, stir fry, pot pies, pasta, things that use a lot of food. And then how about the last one? What is her top tip? Now she has so many tips. Again, I recommend you watch the full video. She has so many, but her top tip, do you remember what it was? It was take inventory. So go into your freezer, go into your fridge and write down what you've got there so you don't buy any more of it. And the double bonus she mentioned is you save electricity by not opening and closing your freezer constantly. Amazing. Right, we're almost there, almost at the end of the lesson. Before that, there are two more things. We've got the What Can I Do project and we've got our Planet Promise. So with more top tips, it's my favorite daughter, also my only daughter, <laughs> it's Ali with her top tips. Hi everyone and welcome to Ali's top tips. Save your vegetable scraps and turn them into a delicious stock. If you'd like to make a video and send it in, why not have a go? Here are some tips on what you can do for your video. What can you do to reduce food waste? Think about where you keep your food, what you do with your leftovers. Can you compost or regrow? Don't forget to write a script. Please send it in by email. You can chuck it on the socials at Renewable English. You can even use the hashtag Renewable English. I'd love to share some of your ideas in next week's lesson. All that's left now is our planet promise. I, Harry Waters, promise to measure my pasta properly and make more stock. Just a final check of the objectives. Did we identify the three food waste hotspots? Did we get some fridge life hacks? Do you have some ideas for leftovers? Did Ali bring you some top tips on reducing food waste? And did you make a planet promise? That's all for today. Please do give us a follow and check out the fantastic new website that some genius put together. All the details below and they're going to follow. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.